You are a young responsible tourist and you are planning to go a few days to Canobbio for a short vacation? Then you've clicked on the right video. In this video I'm going to show you some of the hidden gems in Canobbio so that you do not have to have the same experience as every other tourist. I will also show you how you can get closer to locals. Most of the tourists in Canobbio use a camper van to travel and sleep and every time I go there to visit my grandparents what I see are overcrowded camper van parking lots. A really nice but underrated option are the small bed and breakfasts owned by locals. They're not even that much more expensive than renting a camper van and paying for the parking lot every single day. As they're very small they can offer an outstanding high quality service. In most of the cases they will ask you what you would like to eat for breakfast and they'll get it for you fresh from the bakery the next morning. Another advantage is that you can travel by train and then take the bus from every train station in a radius of 30 kilometers directly to Canobbio. In this way you will not have to waste precious vacation time stuck in traffic but you will also have a less harmful impact on the environment. Canobbio is very well known for the lake Lago Maggiore. That is also the reason why most tourists go there. Now did you know that there is a much better place to spend a day at instead of at the overcrowded beach? It is called Orido di Santana. It is a small stream pool where it is very nice to spend the day at. The sun shines there from early in the morning until 6 in the evening. This means that you can go at any time of the day. And if it gets too warm, you can take a quick swim in the cool refreshing water. If you choose to walk, it will take you around 30 minutes to get there. Or if you choose to use one of the e-bikes offered by the city, it will take you around 11 minutes. But trust me, it's definitely worth it. If you want to meet locals, you can simply walk up the stairs and go outside the church Chiesa di Sant'Anna. Most of the times there are locals spending their afternoons with each other and they are more than happy when they get to talk to young responsible tourists and hear about their stories. However, do not enter the church in inappropriate clothing or just to cool down as they will get upset as the church means a lot to them. If you prefer hiking instead of swimming, I have a cool location for you too. Most of the tourists hike on the Monte Giove, as it is one of the most popular hiking paths around Canobbio. A great alternative is to hike on the Alpe Pianone, as it is a completely different hiking path and way less popular among tourists. The name Pianone was given by its immense plain with a breathtaking view on the lake. And since you clicked on this video because you want to get closer to locals, while hiking you will encounter multiple small houses where locals spend their summer while their town is taken over by the tourists. They will be more than happy to see you explore their mountain and they might even offer you a coffee because they're very keen on learning about other people's adventures and stories. There are no trash cans along the hiking path, so please do not litter and dispose the trash appropriately when you're back in town. What's the best thing to do after a long day of pure relax or after a long hike? You guessed it right, have a wonderful dinner. There are two options, you can either eat at a tourist filled restaurant where you get the usual Italian food or you can eat at a small restaurant where you get traditional local food. Well, if I were you, I would choose the second option. And if you do so, I have the perfect restaurant for you. It's called Loasi del Borgo. It is in the middle of Canobbio, even in the same street where most of the bed and breakfasts are located. So, since you probably did not even travel by car, you can easily reach it by foot. From the front, this restaurant is really underscript. However, after you sit down and have a look at the menu, you will soon notice that what you get there is authentic, high quality, simple, fresh Piedmontese food. Thank you for watching until the end. I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know down in the comments how your vacation in Canobbio was. If you haven't considered responsible traveling yet, please try to really consider it. Locals and the environment will really appreciate it.